D-Lo 404 boxing. All right, y'all, I'm out here in traffic, going back and forth from the paint store, doing a little project at the house. But anyway, just got a chance to check my comments and stuff on some videos I dropped today, and I uh, just want to follow up and say a couple things. All right, when it comes to that Earl's, I mean, excuse me, when it comes to that Bud Crawford Kell Brook fight, I said when the fight was first, you know, announced, and that video still up on YouTube. If I can, if I remember, I'll actually attack it in the comment section of this video. And I, and I said it more than one time. But um, one thing I said was the best man, the best fighter in that fight is gonna win. And I said, and they deserve full credit. I, I'm not talking about no extra credit. I'm not talking about um, you know no. You know what I'm saying? No, no no credit with an asterisk beside it. I'm not talking about anything other than just give them credit for what they done. And I said that went both ways. I said Kell Brook is a big welterweight. He been fighting at 54. And if he beats Crawford, no matter how he beats him, it's because Kell Brook is the better fighter. It's not because Bud Crawford came up from 135. You know, like the excuse that people say when, when Loma lost, that he's too little for the weight class. Or when Leo Santa Cruz got knocked out, he, he's really a 122, 126 pounder. You know, none of that stuff. If Bud went in there and he got beat by Kell Brook, no matter how it happened, Kell Brook deserved full credit because he was fighting a guy who was in front of him on fight night and who was a champion in that division. You know what I'm saying? That's it and that's all it is to it. All right? I said on the flip side, should Bud go in and beat Kell Brook no matter how he does it. It's not because Kell Brook had two broken orbital bones in two separate fights years ago. It's not because Kell Brook is coming down from 54. It's not because either guy is coming off of a certain amount of inactivity. It's because Bud Crawford is the better fighter on fight night. That's it. That's all it is to it. I said that. And, and I'm saying it again right now Bud Crawford won that fight quite frankly because he's better than Kell Brook um, all we can measure against is what, what we have in front of us right now so at this point in time Bud Crawford is the better fighter we can't go back and bring the Kell Brook that fought uh, Sean Porter into the present day and have him fight Bud Crawford or Errol Spence or anybody else you can only fight a guy at the time in which they are there to be fought and the guy that's there in front of you. You know, it's no different than Errol Spence. You know, Errol Spence tried to get the uh, fight with Kell Brook prior to Kell Brook going up there to 160 and getting his orbital bone broken. But what happened is what happened. And all Errol could do was fight the version of Kell Brook that was in front of him on fight night. So the same thing applies to Bud. These guys deserve credit for what they done. Um, Kell deserve credit for, for what he done in the fight. But Unfortunately for him, what he did was not good enough to get the win. You know, just like when he fought Triple G, just like when he fought Errol Smith Jr. He had good moments in the fight. He was doing good work. And, and quite frankly, he was winning the fight until he wasn't. And that's just the way it is. But that doesn't take away from, you know what I'm saying, anybody else's win. The guy... Came in there to fight. He looked good for moments in the fight. And um, at the end of it all, he got stopped. And, you know, the better man won the fight. D-Lo 404 Boxing, that's all I got to say on that subject. Pretty sure I had to talk about this again. But I'm out. Peace.